All right, good day, everybody. This is Imar Sobatuta Sports Inquirer, and we're joined once again by Georgia Tech Volleyball Head Coach Michelle Collier. Uh, Michelle, uh, team is back, finally in ACC play, uh, 2-0 to start off the conference campaign. Uh, just what have you seen the team do well uh, so far in conference competition? Yeah, I think we're we're finding ways to, you know, to win. I think that we um, have been a little up and down through some of the matches, but we've we've found a way collectively uh, to really find solutions. Uh, other people to step up and you know help us out of situations. Um, and so, really proud of just the team dynamic and how we were able to to work ourselves out when we're you know having trouble and then really staying consistent when things are working well for us. Yeah, in the last match against NC State, you were yeah, you were able to win three to one, go to two and zero in conference play. Uh, they had twelve more offensive errors than you did, so you're plus twelve in that category. Uh, I was at the Georgia Tech Georgia matchup, and that seemed to be a struggle ball handling and consistency on offense. What has the team done over these past few matches to be sharper on the offensive end and have less force unforced errors? Yeah, I know. I mean, we're just trying to work on our range of shots, you know, so um, have more options for our hitters to be able to move the ball around a little bit better and get ourselves out of situations if teams are taking certain things away from us that we were still able to do other things. So we're not one or two dimensional. We got we got more shots, you know, or two walks there. So I think that our hitters I've done a good job of that and, and staying conscious on, you know, a, a lot of times we, we talk about transferring the problem to the other side. So if there is situations where we don't feel like we can take swings that will get us close to scoring, uh, what's the next best thing that we can do to set up our defense in an opportunity to win points instead of trying to trying to do too much with the ball and make mistakes. So um I think we're doing a good job of that. We're doing a good job of managing uh, when we want to go for it and when we want to, you know, just play a long game and put ourselves in better defensive position and try to win points that way. Um, and I think that we're, you know, starting to understand and execute on that side of it a little bit better. Yeah, we're seeing the higher hitting percentages as well. Is that part of that result as well, just being more mature and, and being more selective with your hitting? opportunities to net increases your percentages yeah for sure I mean I think that you know our players are they're continuing to develop and they're continuing to get better uh so I think that you know they're making better decisions in situations and uh, that's been great to see yeah and we've seen Tamara uh, emerge on the offensive end as the outside hitter she got uh player of the week for about a conference what about her development as a senior outside hitter and uh, what you've seen from her through the, these first few ACC contests. Yeah, I know. I was, we're all super happy for her. We, um, you know, we, we have high expectations for her. We think she's a great player. Uh, and it's been great to see her, you know, play her game with confidence, do the things that we see every day in our gym consistently, uh, make good decisions. And obviously uh, she played a big part in our wins. Uh, this first two matches in conference and uh, you know our goal is to to see her continue to to get better here as we as we move forward but I was really happy um, to just see her play comfortable you know just not really uh, feeling any kind of pressure and just being able to be herself and, and do the things that we we see every day in our gym so I was excited for her. Yeah and DeAndre Pierce has merged as a, a middle for you uh, had led the team in blocks uh, against NC State. Uh, she has been a really big contributor on the defensive end for you. Uh, what about her and being that stalwart in the middle uh, for you at blocks and also with some digs as well? Yeah, no, I mean, I think Dee's doing great. Uh, you know, both sides of her game, I still have, I still think has a, they both have a huge upside and room for growth. Um, but she keeps getting better every day, you know, and, and she's, getting more and more comfortable with her role. Um, I think we're, we hear her voice more on the court. Uh, we hear her voice more in practice, and those are great things to see. Um, you know, she's continuing to develop more of a presence uh, and really, uh, you know, focus on her strengths right now while, you know, continuing to get better on the other things that she needs to get better. So it was a, it was a solid 
um, ACC do matches for her as well. And, you know, I'm looking forward for her continuing upward trajectory here. I think that she's been getting better and better. Yeah, I know you don't like to talk about yourself in these formats, but the 100th ACC conference win, uh, put yourself right up there in the top of the history of the program. Uh, what does that mean for you to be at the program, have that longevity and success in the conference to reach a milestone like 100 match victories? Yeah, I know. Definitely uh, very grateful for, you know, all the players and, and my staff that has been, uh, you know, have been by my side this next few years. I mean, obviously, I haven't played one of those points. So it, go it goes back to the players and their execution and their buy-in and trust in, in what our staff is trying to teach them and help them grow um, in every phase of their experience here. And so just uh, really happy for the collective effort. You know, it, it takes all of us to to win matches, win matches at this level. Uh, it's not easy in this conference. It's not easy. Um, so I understand the, the value of this milestone. And obviously, uh, I'm looking already ahead of 101, you know, to 101. And, and we're, we're moving uh, past it, but I'm definitely very, uh, it gives you a time to just pause a little bit and, and be grateful for the journey so far, you know, and for everybody that's been a part of it. So thank you to, to all my former players, current players, staff, everybody that's been involved into getting to this point, you know, and, and we got a lot more to go. So we're, we're taking the time. Yeah. And we've spoken for, so I think since the beginning of your, really your tenure with the program, uh, but what have you noticed in, in the program was in the bottom half of the conference. Now you're right in contention for the championship of the ACC. Uh, but what have you just noticed in your time in the conference and just the, the quality of play from uh, just one or two programs, but now teams that are perennially NCAA tournament teams, including yourself, uh, making Elite Eights and Final Fours? What have you just noticed with the growth of ACC volleyball since your time at Georgia Tech? Yeah, no, I mean, I think we we have a, a great group of coaches. Um, we got some great leaders within our coaching groups that um, really made some, you know, was trying to get us to collectively um, put every one of us in, in a better situation coming in from out of conference into conference. Um, and really the schools, you know, have invested in those coaches, they've invested in those programs. And I feel like it's been a really great growth over the Really, you know, six to four years here, four to six years here, we the ACC has really kind of achieved the next level, and I think it's only keep, it's only going to keep getting better. We're getting three great additions to our conference, three great volleyball programs, three great coaches. Um, you know, we were just having a few meetings discussing schedule and what the future of the conference looks like, and um, it's been great. It's been great to just be a part of this momentum with, with volleyball and within the ACC, uh, you know, to just kind of keep growing the game and, and, and being a part of that and seeing that um, has been good. I mean, it's, it, it has made it harder on us because our, <laughs> our job has gotten a lot harder over the years. Um, you know, the parodies there, I think that there's not one team nowadays that you play in the ACC that doesn't have a chance to win a match, you know, against anybody. So I really think that there is a lot of quality and, and high level of volleyball being played and very good coaches, um, you know, within our conference that it's, it's I'm definitely uh, honored to be a part of it and excited to see the future of it. Yeah, and now you head on the road to Virginia Tech this coming weekend, a team that is among the better defensive programs uh, in the ACC, uh, also avoids the block quite well uh, from the opponent. Uh, what have you seen from the Hokies so far this season and what challenges will they present to you? Yeah, I know. I mean, they've been having a great season. They came in off a, a great preseason. Um, you know, played for City Miami really tough uh, on their first weekend. And uh, I think a team that obviously, like everybody, it's it's getting better every week. So uh, they're going to continue to, to continue to get better. Um, and, uh, you know, I watched a little bit of video today, yesterday, um, and obviously there's a lot of things on our side that we want to continue to do better, but we feel like, um, you know, it's going to be a, a very tough match for us. It's not an easy place to play. Um, and so we know that, again, we're going to have to really execute at a high level with our game plan and how we want to 
make them a little bit uncomfortable, but um, they look much better and improved than they were even a year ago. So uh, excited for, for the opportunity to compete there. Well, Coach, thank you for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Safe travels to Virginia, and uh, we'll catch up very soon.